Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at an onload client script use case, which you can use as a practice after you have learned client scripts in service now, or it can be used as a real world example where I have seen many people using this script to make their forms read only. If you want to learn about client scripts in service, now the link is on the top right corner and in the description, it's a playlist. You can learn it from scratch. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Harjit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So this is the use case which we will be implementing as a developer. I want to make all fields on child incidents read only so that users are only able to modify parent incident. So this is just a simple use case where you want people to only modify the parent incident and all the child incidents which are related to it. They should become read only for everyone. So before implementing this, we have to understand couple of things. The first one is there is a field called parent incident field, which is a reference field to the incident table. So for example, if I have an incident and I, I want to give a reference of another incident as a parent, I will just go ahead and populate that field and it will become the parent incident. And on the record, which I have updated, this field will become the child incident. We will see that in service now in a second. And second is on load client script. So this is a script which runs whenever a form is loaded. So you might be knowing about this. So let's quickly see the use of parent incident field in action. And then we will go on writing this on load client script. I'm in service. Now I will go to the list view of the incident table. And here you would see I have added parent incident field. So for example, if we see this incident one, two, three. So what I will do, I will make other incident as parent of this one, two, three incident. So what I will do is I will go ahead and search for one double two incident, which is just right below this. So I will select this and I will click on save. And now when I go to this incident ending with one double two, you would see a child incident under this. So here you can see one, two, three is now the child of this incident. Similarly, you can make multiple child of one double two. So let's go ahead and make another incident as child of one double two. So let's make one to one as well. INC double zero one zero one double two. And I will save this. I will go back to one double two and here it should get updated to two child incidents now. So you would see after populating parent underscore incident field, it has added two child incidents. And it has also been updated in the work notes. So this is all out of the box. Now what custom thing which we have to build is we have to make these two incidents as read only. So if I open them separately in separate tab, you can see these are coming up as editable. I want to make these as read only. And now to make these two incidents or the child incidents as read only, we will go ahead and write a on load client script. For that, I will go to the main page. I will search for client scripts and under system definition, I will click on client scripts. I will click on new and we will name this client script as make child incidents read only. And I will give the table name as incident. So I will type incident here. After this, I will select the type as on load and you can change the UI type to desktop or all depends on your requirement. And in the script, I will add if statement where I will be checking the value of the parent incident field. So I will search for G underscore form dot get value and the backend name of parent incident field is parent underscore incident. And I will check if it is not null. So if the value of that particular column or field is not null, so that means it is a child incident. That particular incident which this client script is running on is a child incident. And I will just write another line of code g underscore form dot disable and I will just close this. And now I will save this client script. As soon as this client script is saved, we will quickly go ahead in the parent incident. Now we see there are two child incidents 21 and 23. We will go to 23 first. We will refresh this and it should become read only. And it has become read only. Let's quickly check 21 and refresh this. And this has also become read only. So this is a very simple use case where you are making the fields as read only for a child incident. 
and we need to ensure that the parent incident or any other incident which is not a child incident shouldn't become read only let's quickly refresh the parent incident as well and you see nothing happened after refreshing because the parent underscore incident field of this particular incident is empty i hope you like this video and this was helpful for implementing a real world use case and if you have any questions please let me know in comments and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and and don't forget to hit that like button thanks